with this guy over here first. Hold up. Nope. Thank you. Nope. Oh, damn you. Rude. Excuse me. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Thank you. Ten four. Oh my, now you know why they wanted to close the hole behind you. You have become the unwilling victim of the dreaded cave squid. Tough luck. You know, I think that might very well be the very first time I have ever seen the cave squid. Not a bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Oh. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. Time till detonation. Oh. I forgot that detail. We're on a timer. Oh, that looks like Terry Town. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 gimme. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. I don't know if we can take another hit. <sighs> Pardon me, this program is too stupid to glean your desire from such a wonderfully crafted sentence. Please try something else. Oh! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. I mean, you are dead, but you know what I mean. Ah! Rude! Really? What on earth is Um, hmm. You, uh, you, you carry on carrying on.
I don't think I've ever had this happen before. You're down in the grass, huh? Nope. Totally not. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. It doesn't seem to open. That doesn't seem to work. I tried to give the deadly piranha poodles to the meat. Oddly enough, that does not seem to be working. Not sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> I wanted to take out the billboard. That was not quite how I saw myself doing it. <laughs> Aloy? Aaron! <laughs> I love how expressive they are in this one. The facial animation is so amazing. <laughs> I love it when they knock themselves over. Oops. Let's turn that on. Whoa! That was awfully close by. Not about you. Get out of my face. My god, it's still only forty eight. Thank you. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today, we're going to check out the new Starfield update. How's everybody doing? Ben, it's good to see you. Uh, the weather says it's supposed to be rainy. I cannot confirm or deny, though. I imagine uh, temperature is dropping. If it drops much further, it will be definitely not raining. It will have to convert to sleet or slush or snow or something. Okay, just give me half a second here. There we go. We got that. Now I need Starfield. Oh, shoot. I added like four months worth of Humble Choice games to my account yesterday, so now my Starfield link is gone. Um, <laughs> that's okay. I can get it from my library. Let's 
Starfield, where did you go? There you are. Yeah, so apparently they released a pretty big update yesterday. One of the big features of the update is support for DLSS, the NVIDIA super sampling, like, uh, you know, I don't remember what it's called, but the big technology that really helps a lot with uh, frame rates. That will not benefit me because my NVIDIA card is too old and I already have the advantage of the AMD uh, you know, equivalent to it, but that is okay. There's plenty of other stuff that they updated as well. So we will see what happens just as soon as the game loads up here, which it's it's starting to do now. It's raining where you are. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I, I really don't know what it is doing here. I have not had any time. I woke up late today and had to scramble to get ready for stream. So we'll see what happens. I just realized I'm also running the game in 4K. I don't remember if I used to do that or not. I think I actually did. Oh, great. We have to build shaders. We'll have to be a little bit patient for this, I guess. If it runs like crap, I'll just have to quit the game and uh, I'll reset my monitor back to 1080 and see what happens. So how's your week starting off, Ben? I hope everything's going well. Having a good day so far? I'm having trouble remembering that it's actually Tuesday. Oh, that was not so bad. Okay, uh, let's see. Level 58. That's... We want... Yes, we want... Okay, no. Level 37, that looks a bit better. Or, wait a minute, 44, that's even better. Okay, so we left off, apparently, at the Stroud Eklund Star Yard. I don't remember what we were working on. It's been over a month since I played this, I can't believe that. But then I have been a little bit distracted by City Skylines and Spider-Man. Mm. How can I be of service, Captain? Yeah, I think this is one of the games that I was running at 1080. Tell you what, since we've already gone to the trouble of building the shaders, it'll be faster to restart, so I am going to quit to desktop. I'm going to drop my resolution, and then we'll just get started and do it properly. I'm not going to make you guys look at this in its framey state. Okay, just let me confirm. There we go. Keep changes, and we should be good. There we are. Strat Eklund Shipyard. Here we are. That'll be one of the nice things when I am eventually able to upgrade my video card. I'll be able to run all this stuff in 4K, and you guys will never even notice. I won't have to quit and Walter is quite proud of what his company has accomplished. Okay, and for that's good much reason. better. Okay, what the heck were we doing here? Greetings, Captain. That looks like my ship. Can't see well enough to get an idea of what's going on. I guess we'll have to do a little bit of a, well, a uh, ship tour, moment. huh? Still sick and will be for the rest of the week? I am so sorry to hear that. That sucks. I was, yep, okay, that's actually, that's fair. That That's accurate. I was doing things and stuff. Okay, so we've got 
Oh, I think I remember little bits about this. Right, I was getting into the era of not giving the game any choice about where it puts all the hatches and compartments and things. So this looks like we've got our central corridor here. We've got a Your surprisingly crowded bridge. Wow, so many people gathered up here. This looks like we've got a workshop. That's our landing bay hatch. Uh, I think this is the control room for crew stations. This will just be a passageway. This looks like it might be... No, this isn't the captain's quarters. This has got to be the general living space. Hey, Hammer, how are you doing? Sorry I had to rush off so quickly last night. I hope you're doing good today. This looks like more living space of some sort. I'll have to confirm in editing, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Another passageway. Then up here, this looks like a pharmaceutical lab. Like the science lab. And here... We have a lot of living space on this ship. Okay. Hey, good to see you. Hey, Sam. You've got something for me? Uh, nope. I'm doing pretty good. I don't think I've got a med bay. You don't need the science lab and the med bay. They ba both provide the same advantage, which is access to the pharmaceutical crafting station. Release. We're free. Okay. So last night we hit three hundred and ten dollars towards our five hundred dollar goal. It is a five hundred yeah, five hundred dollar goal. Our actually, sorry, I misspoke. Our five hundred dollar second goal for extra life fundraising. So I'm really, really excited about that. That's a super cool. Uh, for those of you who were not able to make it last night. I did do a bit of a Breath of, or sorry, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom stream. I went through and I figured out, I didn't get, like when I finished the game, I did finish the game already, but I did not get the good ending. I got an ending. I was able to defeat the Demon King, but I didn't have all the memories, so I didn't get the proper ending. And so I figured out what I needed to do because I was only one memory short of remembering everything and being able to get that good ending. So I had to go and help the Koroks of the Korok Forest. I did that. I haven't gone and actually, you know, beaten the game again to get the good ending again. But uh, I worked on a bunch of side quest stuff and I still have a lot of shrines to do. So I'm thinking every once in a while probably not on the regular but every now and then we'll go back to tears of the kingdom and work on more of the shrines do the occasional side quest all that kind of stuff and then eventually we'll get around to finishing the game properly once more and get the actual good ending so that that'll be a thing that we'll probably work on through 2024 uh, but now for this where's missions Back to Vectera. Argos Extractors is packing up operations on Vectera, but there's no word about Barrett. Need to go there and find out what happened. I actually suspect that's the one that we were going to do. Uh, deputized. Marshal Daniel Blake directed me to speak to Ranger Emma Wilcox at the Rock in Aquila City if I'm interested in joining the Free Star Rangers. I don't know if we're going to do that this time around. We might. It's a really fun storyline, and I really, really enjoyed it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Preventative action. Vevictus has given me my target on Shoza 6A. I'm to track them down and kill them. He warned me to expect resistance. Deep cover. 
Commander Tuwala of the UC Vanguard has provided me with an assignment. I am re to report to the UC Vigilance and speak to Commander Akibwe Ikande for the details. That will be going in and doing the whole, uh, whatchamacallit with the pirate guys, the Crimson Fleet. I don't know if I feel like doing that one this time either. I do want to do that one, I just don't know if we're doing it this time through. And then we've got Back to the Grind. While roaming the city, I heard a job advertisement for Ryujin Industries. I should find a Ryujin kiosk nearby if I'd like to apply for the job. The Ryujin stuff seems like it's pretty fun. Okay, power from beyond. Talk to Vladimir to locate temples. And then uh, first we've got scads of miscellaneous quests here. We haven't done the Mantis quest this time through. Uh, ground Pounder. A merchant told me there's a lot of spacer activity in the Altair system. He also heard an urgent distress call. I'll have to go to Altair to learn more. Special Sauce. I agreed to help pick up a case of Chunks Special Sauce for Luther, the manager of the new homestead Chunks. Only to speak to someone at the other Chunks restaurant he's sending me to, which is the one at the resort. Loose Ends. After landing on Neon, I encountered a man named Nashar Omani being apprehended by security for processing Aurora. Might be worth talking to him in Neon Security. Saburo's Solution. Saburo gave me some flyers to hand out after the other to the other business people on Neon. I should ask around and see if any of them are interested. Um, oh, wow, I've only given out one. Charity of the Wolf. Oh, right, I remember this one. Get donations from Elias Cartwright and Duncan Lynch. I think we're actually going to go back to Vectera. But yeah, to answer your question, Even Hammer, finally. That the work here has come to an end. I'm doing pretty good. It's been busy so far today because I haven't had much time to get set up, but uh, it's well, been fun. Well, you're back. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. <laughs> More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. I'm sorry then, I didn't know. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. I know that talk. Suicide mission. For some, perhaps. Barrett is quite capable. All things considered. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. <laughs> and that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> it was going so well until that part. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller, then. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Ooh, you're getting an Xbox One S? That's awesome, Ben. I would actually really be interested in hearing about how it looks, how it plays, how it runs, you know, what the frame rates are like, or the, uh, you know, the smoothness on various games that you play with it. Because I've been curious about that myself. Okay, um, did I get the, I got the thing, good. Oh, 
Oh, the one S is last gen. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I'm theory. I, I'm I'm thinking of the series S. I would still be curious about it though. Okay, let's see. We are going to need three of those energy battery thingies. And all of the coffee cups that are available, of course. And maybe any tablets that are lying around. Take that. Oh, give me that. Supervisor's log supplemental. Still day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Restart collective claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. That this is another one of Barrett's special orders. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the wheelies. I think we're going to find... something. I just have no idea what it could be, or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, We'll be done with this rock in five days, when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. The One S is cheaper than the One X on the resale market, hence why you're going with the One S? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I've been thinking about the Series S and the Series X. I can't decide whether or not I would have a lot of use for one of them or the other. I think that's the three that we need. However, I also need to find the special thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Goodbye. I didn't know you were there. Base undersuits here. Med packs are good. They're both the same, just one has better graphics and processing power. Yeah. As a streamer, though, that's an important difference. Oh, I can actually get in here this time, potentially.
Okay. There we go. You can succeed at that before we are discovered. It's fine, Natrasia. Don't worry about it. Furious Calibrated Rattler. A pretty decent credit store. Comes a very nice container. Oh, and we're not done. We've got another of those things and more containers with more credits. Always love it. Okay, Heller. Okay. I don't think we should have to go down into the mine again. I'm trying to find Heller's special dig tool thingy. That's a technical term, by the way. Hey, Aaron Lord, how's it going? hid this thing. You know what? It's really not that important. Let's get out of here. I'll take one more quick spin around here, and if I don't spot it, I don't spot it. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that's just a regular cutter. It's not his cutter. Okay. Never mind. Just chilling in bed with your big cat currently? Excellent. That sounds like a good way to spend a Tuesday. Hey, Anstara. How's it going? It's good to see you. in this building. Heller's Cutter, the only cutter that's not red.
There we go. How quickly? Can you get that done? Already done. So about that quickly. Vectera control room key. That is pretty big, Aranar. Are you certain she's a house cat and not a tiger or something in disguise? certain she's part Maine Coon, which may be part Bobcat. Okay. state of my research, now that I think about it. Semi-metal wafer and polytextile. Yeah, okay, I'm missing a lot of stuff. Luckily, she's a la lazily hedonistic thing and not some wild doofus. Excellent. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the graph jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively... 20 stream streak. Thank you, Unstar. You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. The games freak has arrived at the library seeking lore. Your library is your paradise. Desiderius Erasmus. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this... Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in, the Games Freak. How's it going? Good to have you here. Okay. I do believe we are now officially done in here. Unless there's more coffee cups hanging around. Oh, I think I forgot to loot this office. Okay, now we're done. I do play Starfield. Oh, I have. 
haven't done GTA 5 in a million years or so. It's been a long time. Actually, I think the last time I played GTA 5 was when I had just upgraded my video card. And... It went horribly awry and everything crashed and burned and blue screened my computer. But I have since upgraded pretty much the rest of the computer, so I don't know whether it would work okay or not. So, you actually get that computer working again? I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay, let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Thanks, Lynn. Why don't you come with me? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Yeah, we don't really know a whole lot about GTA 6 so far. I'm kind of in wait-and-see mode. We know they're working on it. We know they've started talking about it, but they haven't just said a whole lot yet. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. You're just the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come along. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Okay. Andresia's unassigned, but she's my companion. Can we assign her? No. Okay. Right. I'm full up, but that's okay. One of these days, I will get a, uh, you know, an outpost set up that she can be assigned to. Oh, okay, and we need to check out the exterior of the ship. This looks vaguely familiar. I sort of remember it. Oh, I completely forgot there's an upper portion to it. Oh, but you can't really go up there from inside. That's why I didn't find it on the interior tour. Okay. Uh, yeah, 310 we got there last night. That was three winters. And that actually reminds me, I, we discovered when he did that that the alerts are not actually working for it, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, I might have to contact somebody to see if I can work that out. But he was able to then use the charity points from uh, from the Tangia stuff to do an interaction. And that alerted me to the fact that we'd had the charity thing go off. Uh, what level am I now? That's a good question. I am... Where is it? Oh, level 44. And this is New Game Plus. <laughs> Any adventure you can fly away from. Exactly, Lynn. Is that how the saying goes? Close enough. I must confess, the hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. Well, I am actually trying to get through this universe again. Oh, you do random missions? Nice. I'm trying to, you know, I, I'm doing... Doctor, I need a 
observers the odd did. side stuff here. Oh, wait. Oh, God. I am so distracted right now. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm actually going to finish the game again at this time. Uh, and, you know, go into the next iteration because when I did that last time, like the, the first time, this is my first New Game Plus run, uh, when I did it the first time, I elected to just redo the story again, and I'm going to want to see what it's like when you don't do that because apparently it's different. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So let's take off. Left off the Session completed. Okay. Who do we have around here? Thank you. Pick up the hill. Oh. Never mind. Okay, where's next? Altair 3C. You don't know who you're messing with, sir. You can certainly try. No, oh, hang on. Oh. These okay, these guys are tough. I was not giving them enough credit at first. get our wanted poster from them too. Nice. All right. We need more repairs. Almost done. Actually, they'll be done repairing before I land. You can see the damage. Uh, where is it? I can't really point at it with the mouse because I'm in the cockpit right now. But if you look at the laser, balance, missile, engine, shields, and grav drive readouts, the engines and the grav drive, well, now just the engines, they have that, you know, one of the little things has got the strobing effect and it's kind of pulsing. That indicates the system is under repair. So we had damage across a range of systems and they've been working on repairing and now we're fully repaired again, so we're good. Hey, Nixes. How's it going? Okay. Crashed ship. We're gonna find Barrett and Heller. Surely they will both be here and together. Oh man, 
and everybody is sick. I hope you feel better soon, sir. That really sucks. There may not be life here, but we should still be cautious. Okay, unknown over that way. More unknown there. Not sick yet? Excellent. I am very glad to hear that. And crash chip that way. Respectfully decline. <laughs> Winters, how's it going? It's good to see you today. What's going on? Oh, hey, it's you. In here, I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Hold still. Let me patch you up. Nah, nah, I'll, I'll be all right. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Trust me is my go-to line when someone shouldn't trust me. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot someone he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt. And you weren't even awake to notice. Man, he did the little finger gun thing that finger gun thing always just makes me want to do tales from the borderlands again just winding down from playing more starfield myself ended on 620 planets and moons <coughs> so many to go still but you've made immense progress that's like half of them isn't it probably more than half but barrett isn't here i need to find him he really survived the crash without a scratch? Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? But Barrett isn't here. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? <laughs> so, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, 
really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. The Crimson Fleet has him again. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <coughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. I mean, unless you want to hang around here. Let's get you on your feet first. Yeah, just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Ugh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. About halfway or near it? That's really awesome. I hope you get an achievement for all of that work you put in. That is actually something I would like to do myself, though I'd probably do that off stream. I don't know if you guys want to watch me scanning all 1,000 plus planets and moons. Now, where did we park again? That's us out that way, right? Speaking of scanning. It does, it does, Ben. I actually really enjoy the scanning in the game. It's kind of like the Mass Effect series, where I, I tend to prefer to do it off stream, but I really kind of enjoy just going through the galaxy scanning every planet. You're determined to explore it all before you do the stories. You're going to be so overpowered at the start. Oh my god. Back to Vectera. Listen to her. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, we need to listen to the thing. Where's the thing? Emergency transmission two. Optional recruit Heller as crew. Didn't we do that already? Barrett. Hey, so 
is when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. That's Sarah the Grim. Okay. Also, we've got an ad break beginning in about a minute and a half. I will be running clips, so if you do have to watch ads, first of all, thank you very much, but second of all, you won't miss anything. Uh, okay, so, let me see. Wait, did I... Why do I have two nav markers? Oh, shoot, you know what I just did? I took off and left Heller behind. We got him on his feet, but then never invited him to the ship. I did do one quest tonight, that old ship of Earthers above Paradiso. You know what? Perhaps I have not actually not done that one yet. Place on which one would settle down. Okay, Heller. Sorry about that. Uh, Heller? Abandoned again, yes. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Yes, please come with. Whew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. Why, What's just because I left you stay? behind? <laughs> Sorry, Heller. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. No problem. <laughs> I can't believe I left him behind. Uh, okay. Where did I park? Oh, we're back there again. We'll get back to the ship when I get back from break. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this would be a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. That is one huge door. Oh, oh, okay. That's a little more. I need two more saltpeter and I should be able to do it. Lucas has to stop picking up books. We're going to end up with them everywhere. Hey, uh, did you find the lieutenants? Not yet, but I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. Whoa. Okay, be careful with the landings. Noted. Oh, and it's back here again. What the hell was that? I'm here to murder you, not the other way around. Oh, you know what? I have another fun weapon to try out, don't I? Where did I put you? Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, da damn it. <laughs> Him I can take out fairly safely because he's already in a hidden spot. And no one's likely to find him. 
That leaves these four that I have to take out. Before any of them can sound an alarm. Uh. You okay, game? This is kind of the opposite of the problem I usually encounter. <laughs> Instead of falling through the world, apparently I can just freely walk on top of it now. Whoa. Oh. What the hell? Tornado outbreak. Great. Just what we needed. A fast-moving line of storms gallop across the darkening summer sky with tornadoes ominously forming underneath. We're certainly getting a tour of the variety of natural disasters that can happen in the game. That works. Oops. No. This is maybe not the best crap. <laughs> oh god, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> not that the game would ever throw anything really terrible at us. Look over there! New water frog! Ah! Giant Chara spider? What the hell? That's so disgusting. Ooh. I hate it. Oh. 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 Perfect. Look at that! I got all of them. That is awesome. Let's go for it. Oh. Dramatic much? Wow game. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, the donkey. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> <You're t> <laughs> oh. oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn. Okay, I am back. Now we can get out of here. We were parked over there, I believe. Is there anything else nearby we should maybe check out while we're here? Everything else. 
Wales is a little bit distant. I mean, I guess 800's not that bad, all things considered. But I think we're just gonna take off. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Winters. gun I was using. Alright, what is that up there? Oh, I think I recognize that. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take off and we will do some exploration on another planet. Thank you, Anstara. I've got something with your name on it, boss. Travel to Basel 3, or Bessel 3. I think that's where we go and we actually find what's-his-name, right? Vessel 3B. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Um, we will come back here in just a moment. But for now... I would like to see what's here. the time, Andresia. Kinda in the middle of something here. You can't win this fight! Fighting UC Sysdef, what the hell? <laughs> I don't want to fight them. They're on my side. <laughs> Check out their crab tribe.
Base of Raven. Surrender now. Okay. Salvage rates. Here's hoping you find something valuable in that wreckage. We got to resume our patrol. Stay safe. I don't understand how that happened, though. I didn't try targeting them. I guess you just gotta watch carefully. That's really weird. Okay, uh, what else have we got? There should be a couple more, I think. Yeah, I think you're right, Winters. That's probably what uh, she needed to speak to us about. Okay, scanner anomaly. Happens to me a few times a session. Everyone but the enemy really should stay out of the way. You're not wrong. Perhaps. Oh, there's a lot of scanning to do on this planet. Eight different resources. Okay, it looks like we're going this way. I don't know off the top of my head, Aaron Lar. Uh, I'm not sure if Leviathan I don't know if it would be identifiable by that name looks like they've all been assigned proper names couldn't tell you. I don't see anything that looks like it's got its original astronomical name. Temple Phi. That's the star system that the crazy dude was using the horn to try to contact in Warehouse 13. Oh, that's awesome. Google might know more about it than I do.
Alien reanimation? What? I think this is another new power. Life, gift of the cosmos, granted once more to a fallen alien beast so that it may serve thankfully. Holy crap, I can summon zombies. Or, you know, skeletons. Probably zombies. That's heckin' cool. Alright, let's get back to the ship. I was wondering what that beeping sound was. It sounds like they are giving you a better sense of when your suit protection is going to run out. That's not a bad thing. Although I'm not actually sure what I can do about it. I still haven't really figured out the whole suit protection stuff. Whether there's anything you can do to prepare better, or, you know, if there's some kind of substance you can have on hand to replenish your protection, or what the deal is there, or if you need to spend time on a hostile planet and you're really just screwed. Lovely place. Ransacked Research Outpost. Starting landing procedure. Replenish your suit protection by being in a stable environment like your ship. Okay. Come then. Meet your death. And once again, we are triumphant. How rude of you, sir. Don't say. What the heck? You're supposed to be dead three times over now. OK. 
Okay. This guy is entirely too immortal. We need to go there and deal with him directly. Negative effects of failed hazard protection is pretty toothless, though more annoying than really debilitating. Yeah, my understanding is that they were going to make it a lot more hardcore survival in that respect, but then they found it just really wasn't very fun, so they removed a lot of the negative impact of it. Oh. Need a moment to walk that off? I'm fine, don't you worry about a thing. was playing around with Eternal Harvest. Um, yes. I think I got him this time. No, I didn't get him this time. What the hell? Well, I got him, but I didn't finish him. personally fine with that nerf, though I would not be surprised to see it back in a survival mode. I really want a survival mode. Although, if they're going to do a survival mode, I hope that they're going to allow you some method of replenishing your suit protection without being in a ship or sealed environment. Because, I mean, that would put Fallout 4 survival mode to shame. That would just be ridiculously punishing. Is it F to heal? No. Um. Shoot. What the heck? Oh, okay. Zero. sense in anybody though. It's fine.
right, there's two of them over there. Said there's one of them over there. I know I heard something. Someone there. Nope. Definitely not. Okay, what's going on? Why am I not recovering my oxygen? Brain prognosis poor. Extreme ambient cold. Oh, shoot. Sneaking uses oxygen. Uh, maybe I should take care of that then. That would do it. I do like that system of injury where the different specific injury conditions you have have different effects. That's really neat. the Crimson Fleet more times than I care to remember. They have not gotten the best of me yet. down in there. We will get there in a moment. We have to ransack the rest of this ransack location first. are always good. You know what game you're looking forward to streaming when you get your Xbox? Nope. What are you looking forward to streaming? pretty much daily. You know, I've been thinking I need to get back into Minecraft again a little bit myself. I don't know that I would necessarily stream it, but I wouldn't mind at least playing it. I even picked up the Star Wars pack that they released recently, as well as the D&D pack. I think we 
can head inside. Oh yeah. There's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out, all the physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? My point still stands. You need an open mind out there. You go into the far reaches of space too tightly wound. Your brain is just gonna pop like a soda can. Haven't played in a long while, but at one point you got a Grand Admiral Thrawn skin? That's awesome. I believe I'm currently Holy skinned shit. up as Obi-Wan. You actually found me. I do not understand. Is Barrett being held hostage or not? Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? It should have brought drinks. Yes. I don't know why, but yes. Well, you didn't need to worry too much. Matsura the Grim here is actually a wonderful host. No reason captivity should be unpleasant. See, that's what I mean, Matsura. Real considerate. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? Seems reasonable. You've been pretty good about it. This won't be the last time Barrett escapes the Crimson Fleet. He always gets away. You know that. Here. That settles that. Goodbye, Barrett. I have enjoyed our time together. Likewise, Matsur. Good luck with all the, uh, you know, pirating. Matsura seems like actually a pretty awesome character I wouldn't mind getting to know. I wonder if there's any chance you can get him as a companion or something, or at least work with him in the Crimson Fleet part of the adventure. If you go down that road, that could be pretty fun. You're going to be spending 86 bucks and change on Lego. What set are you getting? I would love to hear about that. Come December 1st, we're going to be starting our next LEGO thing, although it's going to be a little bit different. It's not really a set there as are such. Pirates about. They will not find us to be easy marks. At least not in the sense of the sets that we've been building so far. It's uh, the advent calendar. So basically every single day that I stream until Christmas, we'll be doing from one to three little bits, you know, just daily LEGO bits. So, uh, you know, if there's a set for a Tuesday, for example, then we'll open up the Tuesday set and build whatever little thing it is, or, you know, marvel at the minifig. And, um, you know, since it would be a Tuesday, actually, I would probably also have to do the Sunday and the Monday, because I wouldn't be streaming those days. Have a Ben 10 pack in Minecraft currently skinned as Ben from Ben 10 Alien Force? I don't think I've heard of that one. But that sounds pretty cool. What I really need to do in Minecraft is find myself a really good sky block. I actually Captain, find I, I really I enjoy sky blocks a lot for some reason. But there seem to be a lot of them and I'm not sure which one I should go with. I'm ready to work. Not just yet, Lynn. Sweden puts barcodes on their boats so when they come into port they can Scandinavian. Yep. Yep, yep, I've heard that before. It's a pretty efficient system. Dust off. Also. to do that again after the ship finishes taking off. I forgot how loud it is. So for that one, there you Orbital go. Pattern locked in. Oh, 
Nope. Right. Okay. Stop here. Where are we going? We're going back to... Oh, I guess... We must be going back to the base. What do you call the turkey that wakes up on Black Friday? Lucky. <laughs> yes. Help for your brother-in-law in Minecraft for my nephew, Sonic for my youngest niece, and a unicorn for the older niece. Oh, that's really cool, Ben. Hey, Sketchy, it's going pretty good. How are you doing? Again, who do you think will be the first to ask us questions? Mateo or Noel? Yes. Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign that he's worried. Don't start now, kid. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. You can feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting so hey I, i'm still not a hundred percent plus i feel guilty dragging you into all of this why don't i stick around and help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe if you're coming with me who's in charge of the frontier it doesn't really matter to me we never get too attached to ships after the fifth or sixth time one blows up and you get marooned the romance fades Plus, the frontier is a constellation ship, and you're one of us now, so it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Uh, I think it's better if we go our own ways. You don't want to get dragged down in the gravity of my genius. I get it. Let me know if you change your mind. Will do. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Oh, are we going to get into Walter's stuff now? That's fun. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Can the young guy and the other lady be recruited having a brain fart on their names? That would be Noel and... Uh... Cisco from The Flash. I don't remember his name in the game. Uh, I don't think they can be, though, which is kind of a shame. All of these guys in Constellation should be recruitable, I think. Let's hear it. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Mateo is his name, yes. And yeah, he is. Uh, I'm in. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. As long as the drinking comes after the negotiation, or whatever this is going to entail. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Uh, I'm ready. Let's go. To the Voli star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. So am I. This is a really fun mission, actually. Uh, yeah, he is this guy this here. This is all exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. It'll be fine, don't you worry, Flash. Or Cisco, sorry. 
like neon in general, which helps? Yes, me too. Oh, right. I forgot to dump stuff off at the ship. I'll have to get down there. You know what? I almost forgot. Even when I see it with my own eyes, it is still hard to believe. How could I forget about that? That'll heal up, no problem. <laughs> Re I don't know about redoing it, but I do think that Grant Gustin is a much better Flash. true, Ben. Very true. I just don't know if that's necessarily worth one or two hundred million dollars to redo the movie. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's get rid of resources. That's enough to get me mobile again, but um, drop off some of this stuff I don't need so much. was a creative way to get back to your ship. I always like going the direct route when possible. Yeah, John Wesley's ship is awesome. I really like him, and I'm really glad they brought him back in such a big capacity in the Flash TV series, like the more recent one, because I always really enjoyed that old Flash show as well. Man. Oh, uh, one of the things that they apparently patched yesterday with the big thing, in addition to the DLSS stuff for NVIDIA users, 
is apparently they have fixed that bug that uh, people were encountering where these ship services lost. technicians would just get lost and not appear sometimes. I had that here on Neon in my first iteration, like when we started the game for the first time. It wasn't the end of the world as it turns out, but it was inconvenient. Oh, wait a minute. Right. We're not just going through it. We need to actually talk to Walter. Yep, I remember that, Ben. That was really cool. Matt, smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Chasm bass? A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source has far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. All right. People are getting high off fish. Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. Let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Okay, let's do it then. Not as inconvenient as losing your whole ship, but yeah, it was a little bit annoying. I'm really glad they fixed that. I just hope they also fixed some of the you know, the Phantom Starship problems that specifically I would encounter here on Neon, but I suppose there's no reason it couldn't have been happening elsewhere, too. The effort to make this place beautiful is astounding. There's no end what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. She's not wrong. Coming to Neon really makes me look forward to the inevitable playthrough of Cyberpunk that I'm going to have to do, though. I'm really looking forward to that yes. one. Probably get that started sometime after Spider-Man 2. On behalf of Strout Eklund, I'd like to welcome you to our showroom today. Our company prides itself as the industry leader in spacecraft production. We use groundbreaking technology to give us a significant advantage over our competitors. You can configure your desired spacecraft at any one of our conveniently located kiosks. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. That was quite a sales pitch. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Feel free to have a look around our showroom. I'll be right here if you need me. Oh, wow, Winters. I have a flyer for you from Saburo Okidigbo. It's a cross-promotion offer. Cross-promotion? I don't think we need it, but I'll give it a look anyway. Have you ever met Walter Stroud? He's been to Neon a few times, but I haven't had the pleasure of his company for more than a few minutes at the most. What I can say is that Despite what's been reported by the media, Mr. Stroud is a rational luminary with uniquely future forward visions. Okay, how long have you been working here? Actually, I've been working here for only two years. Previously, I was an Alboron sales representative, but that type of work wasn't for me. I could never relate to the type of clientele that purchases weapons. But spacecraft have always held a certain fascination in my mind. It was comfortable working under Ryujin's banner. But despite all of my requests, they wouldn't transfer me to the Taiyo Astroneering Division. And so, here we are. Okay, then. If you're in the market for spacecraft, please don't forget about us. No worries.
So, what did Sam's daughter have to say? It's Cora, right? Uh, where... Oh. I... Oh, right. We're not going to the showroom. They have an office in the tower, of course. Silly me. Catherine Lucian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has a slightly... In Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Shall we follow the signs? I can't believe there would be a person on Neon with an inflated um, image of themselves. Inconceivable. Walter is very proud of his business. And he should be. His ships are very high quality. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? In a few years, yes. she'll be saying, you tried it. Why can't I? Wow. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Charmed, Miss Eklund. I envy you and your partner's success. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I am 100% behind embarrassing Walter Moore. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me. Can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? It absolutely can. Once you understand each other well enough to know and predict precisely how they're going to backstab you, you can absolutely trust them because you know what they're going to do. Um, I also send my love with freelance operatives. Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now, I must point out the obvious. The Astral Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Investigate the cellar, case the astral lounge, got it. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the astral lounge. Here. Let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Sounds good. And perfectly timed as well, because we've got to start a break now. Uh, yeah. Yep, very aware, Aaron. Lar. Hey, Sim Games, how's it going? It's good to see you. I'm doing very well. We are about to start an ad break, though. So what I'm going to do is run some clips if you guys need to get up and grab anything this is a really good time to do it 
Okay, good. That does cut the audio out. Uh, so I'm going to run some clips and the ads will run and I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes. So I'll meet you back here after that. Hopefully I can just kind of circle around the island here because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway, which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. Or I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. My God. Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> the commander, you can't outrun me. The commander. Ranger's lit reinforcements are coming, oh man. The, co the commander leaped off to his own death. Hey, what? Dive one! <laughs> Twenty-five percent of it units destroyed, so that means there's only four. Whatever's launching those LRMs is the last. Heads up, commander. Got hostile contacts inbound. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> uh. Remembered at precisely the wrong fraction of a second. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. What? Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. That's amazing. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Hey, it's Kyle Katarn. Right in the dome. I'm right here, sir. And or madam. We are really good at sneak. Where'd you go? This one cannot possibly fail. <laughs> okay. What was that? <laughs> oh, there we go. Never mind. Okay. Uh, rugged BD assembly scrapyard solar. Yes. Oh, it gave me the comp 
complete upgrade package? You're kidding me. Okay, I'm back. Uh, right, what were we doing? We were going back and now I believe we have to sort of tour the Astral Lounge. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Ben. So hang on a second. It's got a couple of things for me. All that money can buy, investigate the seller and ask about security. Let's investigate the seller first. Not interested. see you set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently oh shoot tell everyone you know about our store yeah hang on just a moment here I'll be back uh, maybe can I access I can't access ship inventory here now okay I need my persuasion gear. Uh, I can't have a look. If something catches your eye, let me know. see anything above a plus five in persuasion. Bye-bye. stocked and ready to sell maybe I did maybe I didn't you did and you would have had the seller followed now tell me where he is done this dance before have you all right fine I don't want any trouble sleep crate one that's where the guy lives wow the starborn options are pretty awesome I had to chase more zone and accessories And Quietus, how's it going? Thank you. Yes. That's pretty new. I think this is maybe the third stream that I've had it. How are you doing, Aquietus? It's good to see you. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. I have really missed Starfield. I'm glad that we're playing this. doing pretty good and today hasn't been much of anything beyond just streaming but uh, that's been pretty fun regardless wait what that doesn't look right I must be following the wrong marker that's specifically why I did it and quietus I've had newcomers arrive before and get confused about what they were watching, so I thought, okay, let's make this a little more clear. 
I might do something similar eventually for the raid video, because I need to make more raid videos anyway. Hey, it's Carl Caton. 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 <laughs> Wow, for sure, how's it going? We cannot just break it open. That clip played while you were away? No problem. That's not a bad voice for Loki. Personal Correspondence 1 to Musgrove. You might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employee has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. A friend. I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Your friend. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. Your friend. Too bad I can't Okay, was that about it? Changing jobs in a couple of weeks, such a people, but the salary bump is too high to pass up. That is awesome. That sounds really good. Congratulations, Reserve, if it's not too early to say. Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Wait, so is Aurora illegal or not? Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. I prefer alcohol. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, I have a meeting here later. Worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. My meeting will have unexpected guests. Your officers can prevent anyone else from getting hurt. I see. Well, congratulations on your intelligence network. They clearly have done their job. I think the Astral Lounge will be more than happy to put you on the VIP list. I'll inform our security. No problem, Aaron Lord. No problem. I would love to be a VIP. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. I'd like some details on purchasing a penthouse. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, 
All of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. <laughs> That's a pricey house. Um, I don't think I can afford that right now. Tell me about it. What features does it offer? Well, of course. The Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. Okay. Come back soon. Will do, sir. This Aurora stuff? It's blowing my mind. <laughs> Take it easy. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. Okay, then. Talk to James Newell. Adding new user to remote door control override. Approved hand signal will allow use to lock door to VIP lounge a total of one times. Room has been booked by Redacted. Please see Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. I never had the patience for computer systems. They're so useful once you get going with them, though. Okay. Oh, hey, Benjamin Bayou. What the hell do you want? So you're in charge of Neon. Not that it's any of your business, but yes. I'm the administrator of Neon. Nice guy. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job. But do you want to know my favorite? What's One that? snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. Since you're a Mayu, does that mean you own this entire city? I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter, but that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, if you care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. Can we kill him? We're done here. Wow, rude. I don't think I can afford the penthouse, right? How much cash do I have? I'm actually not as far off from it as I thought I was, but no, we can't quite afford it. We're alone. Your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains. I assure them. 
There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. <laughs> it's how I show my love. Wow. Any luck out there? I found out the seller is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I love these two. They are, like, just total partner goals. Walter, what's up? All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. The scientists who discovered neon gas? Are they? Hmm. Use the code phrase to identify the seller. Got it. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Okay. Hey, you wanna dance? Hell yeah! That looks like an abnormally large case. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? I'm with Ramsey and Travers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Done. Hey there. I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. One step closer to our goal. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? Sounds simple enough. Close the deal, get the artifact. And this'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. If this shift doesn't end soon, my man is not gonna be happy. shift will end when the shift ends. I'm sure there will be no trouble. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. I'll sit. No sense making anyone uncomfortable. 
So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? We know you stole the artifact from Slayton. His agents are already on their way. Sell, quickly. What? How did you... Um... Uh... As you can see, we know everything about everyone we deal with. Now let's skip to it, shall we? All right. You win. <laughs> Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Okay, the starboard options well, are starting to become a lot of fun. High pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Good idea. I just hope we don't miss out on the chase sequence. It really does reserve. I'm just curious about how much Stop it lets right you there. shortcut. You're in possession oh, good. of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. You're just a pawn in Slayton's game to slow us down. He expects to meet us face to face. He... What? God damn it! That is something he'd do. <laughs> well, I'm done being some throwaway goon for Slayton. I quit. Oh, this is cool. The Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Wow. Uh, oh, right. That's what's his face. Word I keep forgetting we have to go Borealis. the other way. You know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. We'll deal with that later. The nice thing is for Zerp, you don't have to do the Starborn options if you don't want to. But I'm getting kind of curious to try more of them out, just to see what happens. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. <sighs> we need to get Slayton off our backs. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace <coughs> has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Walter Stroud is now following you. Wonder if there, there are side quests you don't do have starborn options or if side quests have them anyway. I'm sure some of them must. That actually, it, it does make me wonder though, because on the, you know, the design side of the game, it would have to basically track every single mission that you completed in previous runs so that it knows what you know and what you don't know. Which is, you know, certainly not impossible, but it's a lot of work. Oh, did we skip the entire sequence where we got chased over the rooftops? Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? You know who we are. Slayton is waiting for us in his executive office on the top floor. I... Yes, he is expecting you. I can give you access to the elevator, but that's it. It's just letting us speed run this entire area. Well, in a future iteration, we can always go back Wait. and do it the proper way. This clearly isn't the executive level. He 
he's on to us. Oh, maybe Order. not. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Uh, yeah, those checklists, right. they're, they're, they're still a lot of work to implement. They're not that He's hard to do, but there are a lot of work to do. Night, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Well, this is basically, it's not so much a chase as such, but this is the sequence that I was thinking about. This is the part that I was looking forward to. I'm very glad that we actually get to do it. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it, and keep going to the end. <clears throat> yeah, the infiltration part is really good. I was worried that we were going to miss out on it, but I'm happy to be wrong this time. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. I think I want my other ability here. in your hands. <laughs> it's a good thing these guys are so oblivious. Come on. Nope. There we go. Wait, do we go that way? That looks very blocked off. Yeah, I think we have to go around. We are doomed. <laughs> that was a great one. <laughs> Thank you for Zerp. <laughs> They probably should have noticed me there. When we get off world and what happens then in the main story should be interesting right. in New Game Plus.
I'm trying to remember what happens next in the main story. The events are all a little bit jumbled in my mind. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. This is the private office. Go now. Uh. <laughs> Their security is not especially formidable. Let me just get that for you. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Uh, oh, vent is here. Uh, okay, where are we going? We aren't dropping down in there, are we? That actually does look kind of familiar, and I don't see any other way to go. Almost there. Door on the right. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. No problem. What's the worst that could happen? guys are a little more on the ball. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Exactly. I haven't noticed it so much so far, unless maybe that was uh, the reason why the guy in the hallway back there was so clueless. It seems to be more cl up close and personal stealth for meleeers, which I don't really do a whole lot of. I've always found the stealth in this game to be really fairly easy, but then I treat it pretty much like Fallout and Skyrim, where I'm stealthing from a distance which is usually substantially easier to begin with anyway. Stop moving when I'm trying to murder your face. Melee was nearly impossible, which concealment needs for the challenge, yeah. I'm not a big meleeer in general. If I can stay far away from my opponent and take them down, I will always do it. You just cheesed it on wimpy animals? Did they have Fair enough.
concealment boosts your ranged ability and stealth too, which frustrated me. Well, that's a big part of why I found it relatively easy as a ranged player. I can definitely see why it might be frustrating as a melee though. It's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Call off your guard, Slayton, and release my ship. You have what's mine. I indirectly. Have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. You and Walter are business people. Some arrangement can be made. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think... It would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. As in, we could let him go. If you wish. You will have the opportunity to tell him yourself. Shortly. It seems reasonable that a thief face some form of punishment, does it not? My oh, wow. security she didn't like that. Grove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Let's let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Okay. You were doing ranged, but you wanted those ranged boosts, which forced you to get melee. Not articulating clearly? No problem. I get the problem now. Um... Uh, let me. I don't even remember what skills I've got. Oh, I've done very little combat skill. I've got three ranks of laser and two ranks of right at full certification. I don't even have sniper yet. Sharpshooting. Sniper certification. Yeah, I gotta start getting some of those at some point. I believe I've gone relatively heavy on the tech stuff for ships, starship design. Missile weapons, all that kind of fun stuff, and a bit of security. Plus a little bit of physical, and a little bit of social. And some science. Science and tech are my big two. Take a look at concealment. Few skills capture the imagination like the ability to remain undetected, used by assassins, special forces operatives, and simple thieves alike for centuries. You no longer set off enemy mines. Ranged sneak attacks do 2.5 normal damage, and your melee sneak attacks do 4 times damage. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. You Oh! You gain a chameleon-like ability when completely still in sneaking. You don't need oh my god you can get that ability without equipment that does it for you okay concealment is becoming a new priority that's amazing oh i love that rank four 
Engaging stealth causes distant enemies to lose you. Not bad. Ranged sneak attacks do four times normal damage, and melee sneak attacks do ten times normal damage. Yeah, okay. We gotta get that eventually. That's what fr frustrated me with it, taking melee kills. Oh, is that... okay. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Why did you steal the artifact? I want the whole story. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. He wants me to decide what to do with you. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Everyone steals, but you got caught. You're going to jail. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment while you are in jail. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Okay. We just let him go outright last time. I didn't realize Andresia was going to be such a justice-minded individual. That's interesting. This doesn't look right. But let's see where it goes. <laughs> okay, that didn't help. Ah. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Oh, I actually kind of like this ship design. It looks very similar to mine, though, so I guess that's not surprising. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. I really do like the design of Neon as a planet. It looks so great. And it's always so atmospheric. it is. Now, where is Walter? Wait, what? Captain, do you require my assistance? Go to the ship. Our ordeal with Slayton is over, and we're finally free to leave Neon and get the artifact back to the lodge. Okay.
deal with a man who wanted us dead. And I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? Works for me. We got the artifact, that's all that matters. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Hopefully the effort required here was unique. I do not wish to make a habit of this. I don't know, I didn't mind it. That was fun. Great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to cut him out there. Fiscal quarter added? What? Hey, Callan Ray, how's it going? It's good to see you. Oh, take off from Neon, okay. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Lifting off now. Just waiting for your e-visit appointment? Nice. Okay. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. I can't wait to see the Starborn option now. That's not any type of ship I recognize. You know we can't do that. We're in this search until the end. What I choose to do is not for you to judge. What do you mean, lived only once? You know already. Our loved ones exist in our lives for a set place and a set time. There is no going back. Anything else is a terrible lie. Oh, this is so cool. And I expect this is dialogue you don't get if you don't choose to do the story over again, which makes me regret choosing that option a lot less. What I choose to do is not for you to judge. This universe has a right to exist according to its own rules. Keep your artifact. As Starborn, we will settle this later. Oh my god, that's so neat. I won't pretend that I don't have questions. Clearly, just saved our lives, so whatever secrets you need to keep, I'll keep them. These Starborn are just playing with our heads, Walter. Don't give what they said any thought. I haven't... Oh, we can actually start to admit a little bit. I haven't always been honest about who I am, who I was. Say no more. We all came from different walks of life. That's one of Constellation's strengths. All that matters is who you are now, right? And you're one of us. I don't need any more than that. Well, Ugh. I don't know about you, but I've never heard of these Starborn. And the speculation part of my brain is in overdrive. We need to regroup at the Lodge immediately. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors, everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. I wonder if I get another chance to admit that I actually am a Starborn. Ah, uh, this is so cool. I fo totally fought this ship in my playthrough. It wasn't super tough and warps out before you can kill it. I have one of my own. I wonder what happens if you do this mission while actually using your own Starborn ship. Oh, whoops. Okay, here we go.
If it were not for the lodge, I think I would avoid this city. It is all just too much. It's so much fun, Kellenre. We've had so many ridiculously good games. This year has just been I nuts. I not spend as much time here as some of the others, but I appreciate that I was still given my own room. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? I need you to look at the data from my ship sensors. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material is... No isn't problem, Ben. Really... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Corps. Demand it, we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with little kind of stones. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Another house for Rome? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. Extra dimensional. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or You're not so wrong there. That. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. To Barrett's point, the artifacts clearly aren't human-made. Also, two-minute warning, guys. We're going to take a break in about two minutes, and it's going to be a longer one because I need to make myself some tea. Mateo's metaphor has merit. They acted like they were judging us. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent. Worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they are strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. Okay. Add the artifact to the collection. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. I feel strangely powerful, like energy is coursing through my veins. That's distressing, but to be expected, I suppose. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Take me to your leader, human. Hmm. I know you're simply trying to brush this off with humor, but you really should act more concerned. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. I believe them to be entities from beyond normal space and time. That's quite a hypothesis. It would explain a lot, but no, I can't be susceptible to flights of fancy. Not right now. It's just that, oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Solving this mystery will be the greatest discovery in the history of humankind. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. But we're only at the very beginning. There are still so many questions that need to be answered. 
Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere? Perhaps? We'll need more data to be sure. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end all be We need to wrap this up very shortly. Discovery, the pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this, whatever it is, unharmed. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Look, okay. I've already taken up too much of your time. Excellent. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, okay. I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. I gotta take my break now. I'll be back in six to eight minutes, so if you need to get up and grab something, now's the time. Wooden barracks constructed in Mayo. I would normally want to build wooden barracks in the earth rather than in mayonnaise, but, you know, construction techniques were a little more primitive back then. You gotta make allowances. Looks like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. Ah, you move too much. I'm hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? More like some one. <laughs> You're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. You have to forgive Aaron. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. Oh, hello. That is how you deal with trolls. I'm curious to see where it's gonna dump my ship after I do this. Oh god. Oh, what did you... Are you frickin' serious, game? What the hell? <laughs> Ten, nine, eight. Here it comes. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. That's just fireworks, right? Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog jog rog? Um. Darfield's gonna come out and every other game in existence is going to stop big clearly i need to rethink my addition of anti-gravity mods let's see if i can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. <laughs> I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Oh, oh that's just evil.
<laughs> oh no, what's going on? Wow. I am worthless tonight. There we go. That's better. You will be safe, Ben. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Oh my In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. Coincidence? I think not. Here. That's the last one. One enemy remains. Please hit! I couldn't defeat it! <laughs> I love it when they knock themselves over. This place. And maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? Please somebody clip that. Holy please. Yes, please uh. clip that. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. Uh I'm not finding any ultimate weapons, although I got lots of other crap. No pun intended. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I, I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right goal. Oh, whoa. I uh, apparently don't know anything about playing space games. Well, you're not gonna learn by quitting. Oh god. Oh boy. Uh. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to relaunch the game. It crashed on me, which, like I said in chat, maybe for the best, given how badly I mucked up that takeoff. So. You think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. I just got 
dropped out of a plane. But at least the reactor's disabled. This way! Oh. Nice move! Up. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that was so close. Some kind of control you're attempting is... Uh... It's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life, uh, finds a way. Oh, boy. Oh, this feels very precarious. Oop. 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 Okay. <laughs> hey, it worked. Okay, I'm calling that a win. All right, sorry about that, guys. I am back. Okay, uh, let's put the artifact in. I'd like to talk to you. I would very much like to talk to Walter, too. Let's talk to Vladimir first, though. Oh, sorry. Was doing the tally's work in my head. Um, but we'll talk to him after we deal with skills. Okay, we've already got starship design up to a four of four. Automated weapon systems, boot, boost assault training. Yeah, okay, I'm not as concerned about those. We don't have four of four stealth yet. One more point in physical to unlock expert, so let's do rank four stealth. Now we should be able to get these, and that will help us get to these. Oh man, rejuvenation looks really good too. Okay, so we, we obviously have to do more health points eventually inventory on the station next supply run you had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void starborn sure know how to make an entrance you have no idea ready to head back out there the eye can help you find the artifacts but i'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor i'm ready give me any data on the artifacts you have Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be. Where did Walter go? Walter? Walter? Where are you, Walter? Oh, there you are. I've occasionally had my doubts about Constellation as an investment. But now, well, it's clearly money well spent. So, about that Sebastian Banks speech. Oh, right. I was afraid you were going to bring that up again. <laughs> Very well. Let's see if I embarrass myself or not. My colleagues, I venture out into the darkness of space once again. Many of you have expressed concern. At my age, you say, surely the risks are too great. 
Surely Sebastian Banks has earned a rest. Nonsense, I say. To go out into the unknown, to brave the possibility of never coming back, to ignite the spark of hope that humanity will find answers out there in the stars? That is all I have ever wanted. If this last expedition is my time, then I say I have been fortunate. I have been fortunate to leave surrounded by people who could not be more different from one another, but who share a common purpose. That, dare I say, I am fortunate my soul has a home it can always come back to. And that was the last thing Sebastian Banks ever said in the Lodge before he disappeared. And Constellation has been waiting for him to come home ever since. Okay, that was actually really cool, and... It, it kind of struck me, just listening to him recite that speech, how very, very different the characters of Quark and Walter Stroud are. Armin Shimmerman is actually really amazing. I was wondering if you had any more work for me. I want you to know I was very impressed with your work back on Neon. I know you well enough now to feel that this is leading somewhere. <laughs> There's no fooling you. Don't worry. This is a much lower stake opportunity. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. We're doing this one. I need one. someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? You're gonna need to tell me more than that. Of course, now that I know you're interested. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Excellent. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. You must have known I dabble in chip design, huh? I did not. <laughs> Part of the problem is that my designers seem to be having trouble agreeing on a plan. I should mention that you're not there to make design decisions. You're there to get the project back on track and help guide them. So, ideally, you're not adding to the problem. <laughs> you can count on me. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules Degante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. I've been hearing about this mission, and I had no idea how close I was to being able to do it last time. We're doing it this time. I've never done this one before in any of my playthroughs. Hey, Barrett. No, I'm good for now. Thank you. Just for a lark, I think maybe we'll actually take the uh, the tram down to the ship.
Okay, so where exactly are we going? No, we don't want to do this one. Overdesigned. Go to the Stroud Eklund Star Yard. That's where we started today. into that. Interesting. to exit, not undock. Habits. Habits die hard. Undocking complete, Captain. Let's just get a little space. back again. Hopefully I won't undock us this time. We want to board the station. We don't want to undock from it. We're docked. That was just a practice run before. I wanted to make sure the crew was up to it, you know? Hello, Put them through their paces, etc. It must have cost a fortune to build this place so fast. If we cater to celebrities and trendsetters, Everyone else will follow. Oh, this must be Walter's consultant friend. Please, come join us. We've been waiting for you. Hello. Hi there. I'm here to speak to you about this new ship project. You must be Walter's colleague. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Wow. Actually, I have plenty of experience designing starships. Oh. Ah. Uh, I just assumed. You know what? I'm really sorry. I should trust Walter knew what he was doing. My bad. <laughs> Even so, we have plenty of designers. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So, I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Have at it. I'm familiar with the process. Let's get to it. Ah, right. So you mentioned. Let's move on to solving our budget issues then, shall we? We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship, 
It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? A ship out on its own with, you know, a small crew needing all the resources it can muster is really going to need that kitchen sink. So let's do that one. I was afraid you'd say that. Yes, you were. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal. So before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. We need to go big or go home. I know how we can sell this idea to the board. Well, I'm all ears because it's going to take a miracle to convince them. I know you're a brilliant leader because you listen to others' ideas. A smart leader knows when some ideas just aren't worth pursuing. I know there's a way to get past this. I'd like to think so. Please reconsider. Maybe. I won't rule it out. Well, there's always room for personal improvement, I suppose. I'm sure there's a way we can both walk away happy. No, it's not that simple. I thought, wait, Look, did I just- I know you're confident with this budget, but I know there's no way I can get it past the board. So if you want it, you're going to need to figure out how to get it done yourself. I don't want to cut any corners. I'll front the additional cost. Wow, that's <laughs> really generous of you. That should cover what we need. Okay, yeah, why not? Let's put everything we can into the design. I suppose this will move things along, but is that really the best use of your credits? I can just get more. Great, that's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Sure, sounds good. Just let, tell me what I need to do. Great. Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. Okay, meet the team. Ella, what's up? So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of favor. No. Nope. Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but um, uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? As a matter of fact, I'm practically a professional at this point. This is wonderful to hear. I hope for all of our sakes that you are not overselling your ability. Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Absolutely. Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What violet demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Pirates. Personal passenger sho chauffeurs. Uh, commercial salvagers, pirates, explorers. Yeah, actually, explorers. Uh, yes, finally, a kindred spirit operating on my own wavelength. You see, while many ships will operate to that end, few ships are designed with exploration as the primary goal. It is my belief that if we build a ship with that in mind, Strata Clint will dominate that market sector. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. I'm sold. That sounds like a great idea, and it is exactly in line with what I want to do anyway. Thanks. Let me tell you, we would not regret going with my idea. This is a chance to do something that will truly inspire future generations. Ella, you are now my favorite. What does your job here entail? Well, as a senior designer, I'm trusted to work on some pretty important features on these ships. Most of my work is on the technical features, designing them to be more user-friendly. Computer systems like navigation, targeting, you name it. It may not be as glamorous as what Frank does, but without me, these ships would be almost impossible for the average consumer to actually use. What do you think of the company? Why do I feel like answering this could be a trap coming from someone who was sent here by Walter to step in and take over our project? Ah, it's not like I have anything to hide. 
I used to think working for a super wealthy corporation would be terrible, but honestly, it's pretty great. Mm. They've been good to me, and the stability is way better than any startup. I've had opportunities I wouldn't have anywhere else, so yeah, pretty great. Okay, I'll catch you later. Bye. Well, we're making progress now, I guess. Mike. I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Uh. And again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Glad to be of service, then. Good. Just so long as you don't push us to make anything too nutty. I think your decisiveness will put us back on the right track. Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side. Sounds like a win for your team. Go on. It's truth, and we need it. The others believe we need to think big and innovate. Reality is, we just need to do what we do better than anyone else. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fighters. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming. And no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. I love it. You're on the right track with this idea. Wait, really? I was expecting we'd have to argue a bit more than that. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it'd save us all a lot of trouble in the end. I think it's compatible with the explorer ship idea. So you're kind of like the lead engineer here. <laughs> yeah, that's me, innit? Been here since the start of the company. Done engineering for going on 30 years total. But I keep telling them, it's senior, not lead engineer. I've got no interest in being lead. Too much management. Not enough tactile work. <laughs> and yet here I am. Resigned to my fate on the R&D team. You don't like being involved in research and development? No, nope. not really. I like to think I don't have the ego for it. I've got nothing to prove, and I don't rightly care to make my mark on the industry. All I want to do is build the best damn starships I can, not get bogged down with all the excess particulars. But upper management loves the work I do. They wouldn't let me say no to this. I guess they needed someone to keep everyone's heads out of the clouds, so here I am. What do you think of Stroud Eklund? I assume you mean the company and not the people. Because even if I didn't already think so, I'd tell you that both Walter and Issa are great. The company is still kind of young as far as Star Yards go, but it seems to be going in the right direction. Despite what it may look like, I've been doing this for a while at other Star Yards, and so far, we're avoiding a lot of the mistakes some of the older corps have made. Okay, that's really good to know. Later, mate. Nev, what's up? Um, hi. <laughs> Need something? Yes, I'm supposed to talk to you about your start, your ship design proposal and give feedback. Oh, you really want to hear my ideas? I mean, I have an idea, but it's not that great. I'm not even a designer or anything. You need to believe in yourself so, a little I more. I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht. Something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> you probably think that's stupid, right? No, that's not a bad idea at all. A recreational ship sounds like a great idea. It's unique and fun. Oh, really? Wow, I am... <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad I told you about it. Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad campaign for it. So what's it like to do marketing for a ship manufacturer like this? It's... interesting. <laughs> I knew, and I've never done anything like this before coming here. M marketing for ships, specifically, that is. There are so many things to think of for different demographics, like 
style, features, cost, and all that. And you also need to think about offensive and defensive capabilities, because space is dangerous and people need to feel like the ship they're buying is safe. You mentioned you were new. What did you do before this? Yeah, I've only been here for a few months. I did a little marketing for chunks before this, but it was really more of an internship. <laughs> Ships are like totally different than that. I applied for the job here on a whim because I thought it'd be fun. I never expected to be hired. <laughs> you like working here? So far I do. But um <clears throat> just between you and me, I feel like I'm in a little over my head. I, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. But my bosses really seem to like my work, so I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm doing something right. <sighs> I still feel weird pitching ideas to people who have been at this for so much longer than I have. Uh, see you later. Yep, catch you later. All right, this, this must be right. Frank. Just fantastic. You know, I have designed spacecraft for over 10 years. So, you must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Okay, you're Never now my least that. favorite. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. Jules asked me to give some feedback on your ship design proposal. Let's hear it. Ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort in peace of mind, high-end performance, precision engineering, a spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. Mm. You're on to something. I think you need to define your pitch a little better. Mm. I think I understand what you mean. It is not enough to say it's a high-end luxury ship. Who is flying this ship? Where do they go? What is their story? And why do they crave such attention? Exactly, sir. Oh, thank you. I will think on this and improve on my proposal. What was that about wanting the ship to sell the ship to celebrities? Why is that so important? And where did he mention that? I don't recall that at all. Two words. Conspicuous consumption. Are you familiar with this concept? Yes, indeed. Yes, I think I see what you're getting at. Of course you do. I'm glad you understand. Imagine someone like Borealis stepping out of one of our shining luxury ships. Everyone would want to look that cool. Not only would I have the chance to work on a dream ship, but that kind of exposure is guaranteed to sell it. Okay. This guy seems to have the plan that's the least compatible with the other three. Though I have to confess, I kind of like all of them. Why so defensive about your design? Because I am the lead designer on the project. It is literally my job to design it. It is frustrating because I keep getting pushback. And Jules has this idea that we will make a better product by designing it all together. Since everyone has equal say, it led us to a standstill. It was much easier before. Understandable. Why work here if you see so, seem so unhappy with the way things are? Just because I do not like how corporate we have become doesn't mean I don't like getting paid. Okay. Besides, with every successful ship I design, I believe I can influence the company to shift away from typical corporate bullshit and back to taking risks by pursuing art and innovation. Okay, that then I again, like. I agree with them there. Are. Okay, so all of these people actually seem pretty good. We'll have to navigate this the hard way, I suppose. Later. Yeah. All right. So, let's I'm talk to Jules. I'm kind of amazed we finalized the budget. That was relatively painless. I can give you some feedback on your design proposal if you'd like. Oh, yes. I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess? I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the starfighter market. Mm. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded free stars.
So how would we go about designing a starfighter like that? We'd want to give it strong weapons, tough defenses, plus good speed and maneuverability. Most starfighters are fairly small, and the tricky part is keeping costs down with all those fancy modules. Maybe you should work on the pitch. I'm not so sure a consumer starfighter is the way to go. You could be right. There's got to be a better way to pitch the idea. I'll give it some more thought. Thanks. Okay, now I'm thinking actually hers might be the least compatible. So you're the project lead. What does that mean? It means I'm responsible for making sure our projects are carried through to completion. I'm not the one calling all the shots per se, but I do need to ensure the people making those calls are empowered to do that within the limits the executive set for us. Have you been leading the R&D team for long? It might surprise you to hear that no, I have not. This is actually the first project I've led for Stroud Eklund. I recently graduated with a master's degree in engineering management. I'm actually kind of surprised they hired me, but I was at the top of my class, so maybe they didn't want to lose me to some other star yard. Anyway, I'm grateful for the chance to do good work here. All right, catch you later. I'm gonna go do some missions. Lots of work to do, but we'll get through it, don't worry. Okay, we are going to do a variety of missions because I'm kind of on board with the comfortable ship, with the exploration ship, and what was the other one? I don't remember the other one, but yeah. Primarily explorer with family comfort and lots of cargo space. Cargo ship was the third one, I was thinking. I don't know about the heavy luxury or the starfighter, although... I don't mind with making it a bit more luxurious, and I definitely need it to be well-armed and defended. Uh, okay, let's see. Transport traders to Demos. We're gonna do that one. And we're gonna de destroy the Crimson Fleet Ghost 2 at Olympus. Complete a passenger mission, complete a bounty mission. Time for sentiment. Well, I do like the ships we're looking at. Kill, maim, destroy. Exactly, Calendary. Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Hey! How are you? Man, the galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. So how's your day going so far, Kellen Ray? I hope all is well. Right Sorry if I've already asked that before. I'm a little game focused today, so I apologize about that. Demos should be back in the soul system around Mars. Got a bump up on my psychological medications out of my psych appointment, so hopefully things are looking up. Excellent. That is very, very good to hear. <laughs> Don't pretend to be mad at me. I Let's know you aren't real. I learned that back on Earth, people used to use the stars to navigate. That's so cool. But I guess it only worked because they just lived on one planet. And that sounds boring. Demo Star Yard, <sighs> acknowledging civilian vessel. Our sales department is open. Please talk if you want to do business. Death. Okay. That's a big station. Again. 
Hitting spacebar is too much of a habit. Separation complete. Try actually boarding this time. Okay. Captain, greetings. I don't remember if I've been here before. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure I have been here before. Well, that's our business here complete, so let's go do the bounty mission. Dump those passengers from orbit? I don't think they'd be very happy about that. I don't know that would give us the data we need for our Stroud Eklund mission. We're free and clear for flight. Okay. Uh, missions. I guess I need the right one selected. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Ghost 2 at Olympus. Oh, there's, a, oh, there's power here, too. Okay, we're going to do that one first. Then we'll destroy the Crimson Fleet Ghost. Unless we run into the Crimson Fleet Ghost first. Toxic environment, lovely. sure which we're going for, but it looks mostly stronger in this direction.
What does your scanner reveal? Mostly nickel. Um, okay. Now that it's more against a cloud, that is definitely our target. Why is most of the planet so barren? That's kind of weird. Oh, joy. Temple Gamma. Right, don't walk through the water. It's not actually water. Tugame, slowly waking up at hello. Oh my god, Tugame, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? Let me get you shout outs. I'm sure you need no introduction to anyone else, but if there is anyone here who does not yet know Tugame, she is a wonderful person, fantastic streamer, great friend to the channel. We know her through Ultrasaurus's stream. <clears throat> she is really really fantastic please make sure you go follow her if you are not already you will not regret it in the slightest how are you doing what's going on i hope you're doing well today Pretty good. I mean, I haven't done much today other than stream, but uh, that, that's okay. It's been a good day so far. Been really glad to get back into Starfield. Hadn't realized how much I'd been missing this in the like, more than a month since I played it. Blocked from showing off your fancy emote from Tagame's channel last night? Oh, right! I'm low-key kind of hoping one day that I actually get the Golden Kappa event myself, because the irony will be delicious. People will earn an emote that they can't actually use in my own channel. Very long time ago now, Tagame, I uh, I put that emote name <clears throat> as a banned word, and it's been such a long time at this point, my community simply will not allow me to unblock it because it's kind of our thing, like an inside joke. That Your wife is back to enjoying Final Fantasy again herself. She took a few months break. Wait, what? Oh. Rude. Okay. Create vacuum. I assume that's not like a Roomba. Oxygen, fuel of humanity, is withdrawn from a localized area at your command? That's actually kind of cool. 
that's that's kind of neat. I like that. Speaking of Final Fantasy, I think in the new year, early in the new year, probably January, I'm going to finally start my long-delayed playthrough of Final Fantasy V. Because I need to get on those. I need to do Final Fantasy V. I need to do Final Fantasy VI. And then I will finally be clear to play um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because it looks like I can actually get the Intergrade now. I was all excited because the, you know, the new Part 2 was going to give me an option to get Final Fantasy Remake, Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, which I hadn't been able to buy before because of some screw-up on the PlayStation Store with people that got it through PlayStation Plus, an earlier version for PS4. Only, it turns out, I don't even need to get the bundle. They have a version that I can just, I can get it now straight up if I want to. So, I can finally take a look at that whole remake situation, which I have been sitting on for years at this point. A little bit for Zerp. It never really caught me. I kind of enjoyed the few episodes that I watched, but I didn't watch long enough to really get addicted to it. Also, three-minute warning, folks. We have another break coming up in three minutes. I will be running some clips while the ads are playing. And so if any of you do have to watch ads, first of all, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It helps more than you know. And second of all, uh, you won't miss anything. Your robot back is named Janet because of it? I Yeah, I don't know the show, show well enough to recognize the reference there. But that is pretty funny just in principle. So I hope everyone's got a good, uh, you know, set of plans for the week coming up. Anything fun going on? Saw a video the other day of someone not finding their Roomba for days and then seeing a video of it taking off down the sidewalk in their ring cam. Oh my god. Janet was the AI robot internet servant has all the answers being. Okay. That's cool. I probably did get introduced to Janet, but not enough to really have it take root in my brain. tonight nothing planned nice relaxing week right excellent orbit reach all right locate and destroy the crimson fleet ghost 2 no i think i want this one Decoration party coming up this Saturday. Okay, interesting. Oh, I guess we're starting the fight now, huh? Ah, 
Ah, that's the ghost too. There we go. They actually beat us up pretty bad. We took some fairly extensive damage there. Uh, it does look like we're going to have to do the looting after the break, though. I need to get up, so if you guys need to get up yourselves and grab some food or a drink or a snack, this is a very good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in a few. I'm okay if they just want to stay there. That lets me regain a bit of magic. I hate you guys. Rather not revive him. You're okay. Oh, Go ahead, <laughs> that was not Bembe. Oops. <laughs> I'm very sorry for attaching a number of mines directly to your body. So apparently, standing on the back of his hand alone is enough to do it. Would not have guessed at that. Ah, you. <laughs> I'll skin you and make a purse for my wife. <laughs> I probably should have taken advantage of that, but that was too funny. Hey. Um, this is maybe not the best crap. <laughs> oh God, when was the last save? This could be really bad. <laughs> I oh my god I did it I did it I got rid of his stealth generator that's came, amazing dangerous We're going to hit something. <laughs> that was the best timing ever <laughs> thousand year flood the river bursts its banks and rising water covers the land for miles around. Not for a thousand years has the river flooded to such an extent. You, what? <laughs> Oh my god. Holy crap. Okay, I'm back. Two of them. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Pre 
Pirates and Fleet Hunt. Let's loot them. No worries, Callan Ray. You gotta do what you gotta do. Actually, just give me half a moment, folks. I need to get up for two seconds. Here, I have something for you. Really? That's nice of you. Yes. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or, well, whatever. Thank you for thinking of me. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Money's good. I like money. Thank you. Hi. Please disregard. I can't decide which model to get. We're all super glad you're here. Right, everyone? <laughs> well, we are. I've done the market research for you. I'm ready for the next step. Versatility may not be what certain customers are looking for. So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make sure to get everyone working together. You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? A hokey team building exercise. <laughs> Let's try team building. Maybe group meditation to calm everyone so they can work with each other. Uh, what have you tried so far? Okay, for real. It's mostly been just a bunch of arguing. First, we tried a group brainstorming session, and that went about as well as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. We tried individual designs, but that backfired. Uh -huh. We had meetings focused on individual aspects of the ship, and that just prolonged the process. I could have put my foot down and made a decision, but then I'd be giving up on my idea that collaboration will build us the best ship. That, and I don't want anyone to resign because of me. Uh...
The only fair thing to do is make everyone give up one compromise. Hmm. I can't believe I didn't think of that. It's fair. Everyone goes around the table and makes a cut. That way no one feels like they're the only one being asked to compromise. This should drive us towards a more focused design. And since Walter asked me to <laughs> I'm in this, danger! I have to be the villain here. So you're sure about this? Thank you, Ben. Yes, let's get ready to compromise. Great! Let's get ready to disappoint everyone equally. Yeah. I thought it was obvious. Until now, that's how it's gone, but no one's relenting. Wait, you didn't mean actual physical fighting, right? Nah. I wasn't thinking <sighs> physical fighting. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, everyone. Stone of Our Jordan has here, arrived at the library Nahi seeking law. The world always seems brighter forward, when you've just made something that wasn't the there before. Everyone is Neil Gaiman. One major Thank you for the follow. It's the fairest way to do this, and ultimately, I think it's going to make our collective design choices a lot easier. Who wants to start? <coughs> okay, fine. I'll go first. I'm willing to cut some of the included hard points. It'll mean less firepower, but the consumer can still add them afterwards, I suppose. <coughs> You're looking at me, huh? I guess that means you want me to go. Look, I'll be easy. You know I wasn't looking for anything fancy, but if I've got to make cuts, uh, we can reduce some of the cargo base. Uh, I guess we can cut some of the extra sensors and data collection equipment. As long as this thing can still make it to deep space and back with no problem, I'll be happy. Um, I'd be willing to give up some of the passenger space, maybe. Welcome on in, yeah, of Jordan. Yeah, that should be okay. Hope you're doing well today. Frank? Mm, okay, fine, you win. I'll cut out some of the luxury design <coughs> features. All that gold trim was going to be tacky anyway. Yes, it was. Well then, that wasn't so bad. I feel much more confident we can actually build this thing. Okay, speak with Jules. I have... We're all super glad you're here, right, everyone? Well, time. we are. Now that we've unblocked ourselves, tell me about the ship we're making. Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of stuff to it. Can you go into more detail about the ship we're making? This ship's going to be big. And it's going to have the best components available. Yes. I'm sure it'll be very capable of handling any situation thrown at it. Excellent. This thing is going to be a beast, and I don't know how we're going to make it look halfway presentable. My only other Flames. concern comes down to the sticker price and how we're going to actually sell such a monstrosity. But that's marketing's problem now. Poor Nev. Do you think your team will run into this issue again? I hope not, but it's possible. If the ship sells well enough, the board will have no problem increasing the budget next time. The data you gathered for us will last a while, too. And I think I picked up some useful techniques from you to help us work together better. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I thought we actually got to design the ship itself. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. That's it? We don't actually design the ship? All right, I think Andresia wanted to speak there. Never would I have imagined to encounter something like the Starborn. <laughs> now I feel that rather than having answers, we only have more questions. Oh, I have plenty of answers. We shouldn't be that surprised. Space is so vast, it must be full of things we can't imagine. I suppose this proves that idea succinctly. Regardless of how impossible they may have seemed before now, I must say that I do not like being threatened by anyone. Have you seen the specs on the Adonis? They're clearly trying to scare us I'd away from something. If so, what would that be? The secrets clearly of the cosmos. The Starborn are connected to the artifacts, which would mean that they are also connected to that temple you found. Did they make these things? Have they appropriated them? This all implies there is something more, something we do not yet understand. We'll see them again soon enough. Does seem as though our paths are likely to cross again. We will need to be on our guard from now on. They seem to know much about us. 
Perhaps we can learn more about them to make it even. If you got we any questions, should just let me know. Search, then. There's still so much to do. Okay. All right, where's our next stop? Speak with Walter Stroud. Okay, so I assume we're going back to the lodge for that. I heard they're making a new class of ship. I'm very disappointed that we don't actually get to design the ship and lay it out ourselves. Everything seems to be Bit of a cold. Oh my god, Stone of Jordan, what is it going on this past week or so? Everybody is sick. I hope you feel better quickly. I guess it's got to be the transition into winter in the Northern Hemisphere here. A lot of people are affected by the seasonal changes. We're at last. Free and clear. All right. <clears throat> Wait. Why is it? We are going to talk to Walter, right? There we go. It switched missions on me again. Yeah, but when the seasons start to change and it starts to get colder, people gather together, which makes it more likely that any given person is going to contract a common bug like the cold or the flu or something like that, and it spreads more quickly and easily between people because of the confined spaces. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense. I was sick over the weekend myself. Yeah, it's a lot of that. Mm. Lay it on me. Fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? We are. At this, I'm expecting big things from you with this ship project. I managed Don't to get your new down. ship project back on track. Good to hear. I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. Honestly, I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. Now I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the star yard. Thanks. Sir. So we really want the Simpsons route then. Homer designs a car, it ends up being the most crazy ridiculous design ever. But we have to go back to the star yard to find out what it actually looks like. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys do have Thanksgiving week. That's why all the Black Friday stuff is going on. Mm. I tend to overfocus on Black Friday and forget you guys have your Thanksgiving. El Ranchero, yes, exactly. We're gonna take the direct route back to the ship this time again. Got the wrong power. Was it not the Ranchero? Man, they really need to update those Simpson games and bring them to modern consoles or and or PC. Ultra playing them really made me want to play them again.
Canyonaro, that that's where I got El Ranchero, but the Homer car was just the Homer got it. I don't remember the name very well. I do vaguely remember what it looked like with the weird space age canopy and just a whole lot of weird stuff. I can kind of picture parts of it in my mind. Would love the Simpsons game remastered? Yeah. There were a couple of them, though. There was Hit and Run, and then there was... What was the other one? It is. They had at least two of the driving ones, like the GTA-inspired ones. I'd love to get those ones. Assuming all systems are nominal, we are ready to depart. Yes? Nice day, huh? Time to push some cheese. Yeah, I saw news about that preserve. Didn't they do it using Unreal Engine 5? That would be amazing. Hell of a view from here. Yes, it is. Okay. I only just realized that I am sick. I also just saw there was going to be another sequel, but it never happened. That is a shame. I will never get tired of that. Next time we do this mission, we're going to have to do a more focused design. Probably the Explorer craft. I remembered to board instead of undocking. Good day, Captain. Wait, did it switch? No, what? Why is it directing me here? I'm very confused. What? Hello again. What's going on? Has anybody done this mission before? Can you tell me what exactly I'm supposed to be looking for here? travel while the ship is docked, but I'm already here. Have to run, need to get ready to pick up a friend flying in to see his family for Thanksgiving. Not a problem, Preserve. Have a great one. Thank you so much for hanging out. Collect your new ship. See, it says go to the Stroud Eklund Star Yard. I'm very confuzzled. Uh, <laughs> enjoy your absolutely nothing preserve. I'm boarding again. We're going to go talk to them. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived. If you need anything, just ask. 
I think you'll find we have some tempting options for you. Thanks for visiting Stroud Eklund. Stroud Eklund may be new, but it... Of course! Okay. Starborn Guardian. Wanderwell. When did I get the Wanderwell? What the heck is the Wanderwell? Kepler R. Well, it looks like a Stroud Eklund ship. And it certainly looks like somebody just threw components at random into a big configuration. I don't think it's got enough drives, though. They should have put another one right in here. Also, we could do with more cargo space, I think. It does look like it would make a fairly decent sort of exploratory vessel. The grav drive is nice. It's better than what I've got. This has got to be our new ship, right? My god. Okay, we're going to make this the home ship and we're going to do a tour of the interior. You've commandeered a new ship. I wouldn't say commandeered. We were gifted a new ship. Oh, the Wanderwell, the other new ship. That was the one we got from Mom and Dad. I remember. Okay. I like that we've got a porthole right here, like a viewport, right at the entrance when you come in through the, uh, the, oh, Jesus. That's a big drop. I don't know that I like the continuous ladder all the way down four decks. Uh... Okay. Here's our cockpit. Ahoy, much Captain. A straight shot down from the entrance. Well, we got one of the big compartments here. You hey, Ezekiel. Look well today. Thank you, sir. Oh man. Yeah, the way you handle things, not bad. Thank not you, bad. Sam. <laughs> All these ladders, oh my god. They threw everything in here. Holy crap. You know, I gotta say, I kinda like it. So, we have a med bay. This looks like a CIC or control area. Oh my god, how many decks does this ship have? That would be... Okay, so this is the bottom. That's the landing bay. Excuse me. Oh, that's good. What the heck? Push me off. Welcome back, Unstara. We're exploring our brand new Simpsons ship. We went with the one where they just throw the kitchen sink into a pile of scrap and call it a ship. You know, it actually doesn't have as many interior compartments as I expected it was going to have. It is, Unstara. It is. Yeah. Hello. I don't think we're going to use it, though. There we go. Now that we are here, what will be our next course of action? We're going to switch back to our original ship. Where'd Haverland go? Let me know if you have any problems. Finding Haverland. Oh, God, this is so I 
heard they're making a new class of ship here. You have a good day. Where'd he go? What the heck? Excuse me, sir. Welcome to Stroud Eklund. That continuous drop did not look child-friendly. No, that's not my favorite feature either, although at least they didn't put it all the way down to the very bottom of the ship. There are like two other decks below that I'm they could have gone down. Okay, seriously, where the heck did that guy take off to? Okay, he's not here. going on hmm he must have gone on break oh are you what ready to do some business are you ready where the hell were you were you hiding under your desk Stroud Eklund may be new but it has allowed us to learn from the others oh you've come to the right place Yeah, he is a ninja, I swear. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's our reactor. And we've got the dr grav drive here. We still have one warning. What's the warning? Reduce mass or add engines to improve mobility. Okay. I want a better grav drive. So let's see what we got here. How much do houses cost in this game? I have a stupid amount of money now. I was looking at the penthouse in Neon earlier, which is in the same tower that um, the nightclub is in. And that one was going for, I don't remember the exact figure, but it was in the neighborhood of 250,000. Okay, so actually, what have we got right now? We are running the RD3000, excuse me, beta grav drive. Uh, RD, RD3000, okay. Where is, oh, that's this one. All right, so that is class B, max power 10. I don't... Yeah, there, we have no options that'll get us up to a max power of 12 yet. Pocket money, then. I'm kind of thinking we go to the Apollo GV200. But that's big. This is going to require a little bit of re, uh, you know, rejiggering the interior layout some. Which I don't have a problem with. That should be okay. So we're going to take that. We might also need to upgrade our reactor if possible. Z Machine 3000. I don't even think that's an option here. Okay, let's get the, the specs here. It's an Ammon Dunn. Class B generates 28 power.
We could upgrade to the 103 DS Mag Inertial. That puts out 31 power, which is a bit more than the other one. And it fits in the same form factor because it's still class B. I've got somewhere north of 2 million, and this is after you built your ship? Damn. Or we could go with a, a full-on Class C. It would probably slow us down significantly, though. Our two options there are the F SF-30 Sheared Flow or the Fuser DC-402. This is all assuming, of course, I can afford the changes already, which is not looking certain, because I did fund the development of that new ship. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I don't know that we can actually afford the new reactor upgrade. We might have to just stick with this one for now. So this is a little bit of a problem, this extra large grab drive. How do I attach this? Because I've got to have the docking port at the same level or above. Survey data is worth a lot. Of course, I had to use console commands to give NPCs like Vlad enough money to buy it all. I just wait. I spend a bit of time waiting and then eventually they have enough. That is awesome, Great Red Shark. Sounds like you might be able to get some extra in. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work because these are going to be disconnected. here. And then reattach. Is that too small? Like, too long? Unattached? Max... Oh, I can't tell because we're definitely too wide because all the components are over there. No, actually the length is okay, so I think that solves our reactor problem. Ship contains modules that exceed reactor class. Oh, shoot. Right. Uh, yeah, that's... That's going to be an issue, isn't it? So I can't... Uh, right, I forgot. I can't upgrade to a class C grav drive without also doing the... Damn it.
kind of wish they implemented a growing economy so vendors have more money the more you sell. It boggles my mind that they still release games that don't have that, honestly. I really don't get how that didn't get through them. Like, I mean... Did they not play the game for any extended period of time? Did they not have to spend days and days and days and days in game trying to sell a cargo, uh, uh, you know, cargo holds worth of goods? I just can't imagine how they didn't do it. That would have been one of the very first things I changed. And not just in this game, like I'm talking back in Fallout 4 and Skyrim. So, I don't know what's going on with them, why they like that so much, but it's just pain. It's pure pain. Uh, okay. So that's problematic. Let's see if we can stick to a Class B that's still an upgrade. What's the best Class B we can get? Okay, so the RD3000 is what we had. Max power 10, grav jump thrust is 36. So if we can get better than 36, I will call that good. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing it. I think we have to go class C if we want better. Or we have to go somewhere else. We might have to take the 3,000 back. Not that I know of, Inquietus. I haven't seen anything to indicate that they have. Okay, so we didn't actually end up doing much of anything there. see maybe instead of trying to do the grav drive first since the limiting factor is the reactor what's our reactor the Z machine 3000 with 28 power generation maybe I can go ahead and just upgrade that one and then we'll work on the grav drive later That's class B. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this one. There. Okay. Everything's so new here. After waiting weeks of in-game time to sell a couple of systems of survey disk data or acquired loot, I had enough and just consoled in more credits for the vendors. Today you had over 240 survey data to sell? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be fixing the interior randomized doors in any kind of a patch. If they're going to fix that, and something? I hope that they will it's most likely to come as part of a DLC or a patch that's related to a DLC. 
What can I help you with? It's good to be out and about. Let's get stuffy sometimes. Textbook there. We're free. All right, we should have some extra yeah, power to it? devote now. So I'll just put that in the grab drive. Talk to Doc Manning. I don't even know who that one is. Yeah, it's a mod, though. I'm not interested in modding yet. That's the thing. Eventually, I will do that. But I'm trying to keep the game clean for now. Will there ever be vehicles added to the game? Uh, I have no way of knowing that. That entirely depends on what design decisions they want to go with. The whole idea of having the jetpack is that the jetpack is your vehicle. So I suspect not... The city but certainly there are an awful lot of people interested in getting mechs to run around in, so you never know. Still getting Thank used you, to silly place. boy. Welcome Does on in. Quite feel like home, but hopefully someday. Good luck out there on the fringe. Uh, I don't know about official question. mod support. I don't know what their plans are for that. While you're out there. We're all here. Make sure the those starborn don't creep up on you. Lucky I noticed the pattern in one of those artifacts you pulled out. Here. Thank you, Piazzi 4C. I think I've been there before, so this might be a power upgrade. Sushi, beer, wine, sake, soju, and peanut M&Ms, and a cherry parfait thing. Damn, Aaron, Lord, you're all set. Mod support is out yet. Modding now can be a bit iffy, like just changing your load order can break mods right now. I still think of that as pretty standard stuff, though. That can happen in Fallout and in Skyrim as well. And in RimWorld. Actually, it's a big thing in RimWorld. Nearly lost it on someone while leaving the grocery store, hence by the stop by the wine and liquor and beer stores. <clears throat> plan to hole up in your room for a few days sometimes you just need to do that nothing wrong with that Starting tomorrow, you're going to start reading what I own of Wheel of Time until I run out, and then what I own of The Expanse. Very nice. I don't think I ever made it past book six of the Wheel of Time. One of these years, I need to actually read the whole thing. Just a bad time of year and so highly irritable, so need cozy times at home. Yeah. Understandable. Hello, Captain. Well, for me, it would be a winter. So it absolutely would be. Your mileage may vary, of course. Lift off looks good. Stay in orbit. 
Acquire the power. It is. I think we had it covered, but I expect some people owe you their lives. Any way we can repay you? No, nope, I'm good. Very noble of you. I can't stay here gabbing all day. Fly safe. Okay. All right. What were we doing? We were looking for a planet. We need more power. I've seen that mod, then forgot to remove it when I started another human playthrough. Oh man. Landing site locked. Take us in. Started a new run as a Khajiit in Skyrim and got a neat mod that makes me move around on all fours while sneaking or sprinting. That's actually really cool. Harvest any organic materials. Now would be the time. That looks like our destination, doesn't it? Except it's not glitching out my scanner. Oh, wait, something is. Cage brain, lovely. Oh, that looks like it could be it. Pretty sure that's where we're headed. Okay, so, I'm trying to think why this one 
in particular seems familiar. The planet itself doesn't look especially familiar or unfamiliar. I'm really curious to see which power we're going to get, if it's going to be a new one, or, as I suspect, is it going to be an upgrade to what I've already got. minute warning guys we're gonna have a break coming up in three minutes this will be our final break of the stream I will run clips while the ads are going so those of you or no. so those of you who do have to watch ads first of all thank you very much it really does help the stream a whole lot more than you realize and uh, second of all you won't have to miss anything Miss that one? You're kidding me. I think Andresia just knocked me aside there. So it was an upgrade after all. Perfect. Not one I use very often, but that's okay. I always like reducing the cost of abilities. But now it looks like this is a really good time for me to take that break. So if you guys need to get up and get a rounded move or grab a you know, bite to eat or something to drink, this is a very good time to do it. The slog be real sluggy. My intent is to make an honest attempt to cross off as many series as I can, as close as it is functionally possible to each other, possible to each other, so you don't forget them. Excellent. That sounds like a good plan. I'll be back in just a few minutes, folks. Three and a half to five or so. I'm gonna show you what I've done with Starlight Drive In. Hanging out with Valentine. Good for you. You're out of uniform, sir. Ah. 
Seven misses. More misses than anyone else, but fewer bads. Oh. Hostiles ahead! Hi. Right. Okay. I think I got him. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. What? Realized that when we went to Winterhold and I finally got my room at the college and I what the hell is that? That's so cool. Crap, he has a bad motivator. Oh, no, he's getting away. Imro Boatson has arrived at the library seeking lore. Light thinks it travels faster than anything, but bad, it is wrong. Man. No matter how fast light travels, it finds the darkness has always got there first, and is waiting for it. Terry Pratchett. Ah, meat. Let's go there. It's no! Oh. No! What? What do you- What? BB, what the hell? Feral ghoul horde? <laughs> oh my- Jealous Very of the nice. tower. She is more famous than I am. for this to get Shit, bullet. <laughs> They've lost my trail because I am so incredibly inconspicuous. They oh Okay, I'm back. Hex, how's it going? It's so good to uh, see you. How are you doing today? So looking forward to the Safer Seas update for Sea of Thieves? Yes! Oh my god, that's gonna be great. Thank you, Aaron Lar. Same with food? Excellent, Ben. What did you get? What are you eating? Thank you, Winters.
Ooh, hamburger helper sounds good. I could go for some of that. I may have a box of that. Not sure of the hamburger. Yeah. Radiation poisoning. When did I get radiation poisoning? Do you see anything useful? Huh. Okay, where to next? Let's do another main one. Uh, not Doc Manning. Further into the unknown. Eridani 4 or Altair 4A? I vote Altair. Mm, Star. Oh, we have to fight this time? Okay. So fast, sir. Get your butt back here. Whoa. Choose that. It's annoying that you don't get to loot them. 
I think once you become starborn yourself, you should be able to loot them. Stealth does seem to be slightly easier, maybe? It's hard to tell. This is the first time we're really using it to a serious extent here. Cereal. I haven't had that in ages. Out now. Or what exactly, sir? give them some credit. I never liked him anyway. They're <laughs> Wow. Another way into the facility perhaps? I have to say, it's kind of refreshing to come up against a group of these guys who are so willing to warn you away instead of just murdering your face. They're leaving that to be my job this time. Where's the entrance? Oh, here it is. Up here. Okay.
right there. Yeah, I can definitely see that melee stealth definitely a heck of a lot easier now. I mean, I was right in front of her and she somehow failed to notice me. so far. That's potentially nice. But I actually don't really feel like dealing with contraband. Mostly because it's unlikely I'm going to have a chance to sell it off before I wrap up stream today. And I will undoubtedly forget and get myself caught next time. I've seen an artifact in one of these caverns before, so I was not primed to look for an entrance over here. Here we go. So I'm going to heal up because we're undoubtedly going to get murdered by this guy again. Kind of. Best you can do. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, didn't mean for that. I think they've made it easier to take the artifacts as well. You don't seem to have to mine quite as much of the crap out. Hey, it happens sometimes, Ben. It, it does happen. stuff out. I've got a fair amount of it already anyway. Um, fortunately not great, Red Shark. I have never listened to a podcast up based on the Wheel of Time. I actually don't really have time to listen to a lot of podcasts in general, but back when I was reading the uh, first few books of the Wheel of Time, podcasting did not exist yet. to melee weapon critical damage.
wherever you store that the smell will not be an issue. Should be fine, don't you worry. I was gonna store it in your bunk. So I probably don't need to really stealth around here, do I? Boom pop orange. That would be my choice, too, actually. I like orange. Captain, greetings. Okay, what's next? Eridani 4. I think I accidentally toggled the mission off in my tracker. I should probably turn that back on. Explosive snow, lovely, and extreme cold, too, as a bonus package. Okay, so this is an abandoned robotics factory. We're likely to mostly... I mean, if it's not taken over by spacers or pirates or something, it'll most likely be abandoned robots here. Oh, looks like it's spacers and pirates. That's good. Space helmet. Anything here worth taking? Barely. I bought the first audiobook to your return ten, which was almost exactly seven years after publication. Very nice. So that was a while that ago then. I don't think I've got any of the Wheel of Time audiobooks. Your enemies might disagree. 
against me. Space Adept Mag Shot. It's actually kind of unfortunate for him that it's Space Adept. On a planetary surface, he's penalized. Jump, but they go so slow. I've never had a problem with the pace of most of the readers. I know there are a lot of people who like to, you know, they listen to audiobooks and podcasts and everything on, you know, 1.5 or 2 times the speed. I can't do that. I don't like it. I prefer the actual, the deliberate pacing that they do. I've been back and forth with myself on if I was going to do month to month the base game pass for console or go back to gold every three months. Well, I've decided I will go back to doing every three months as it lines up with GST payments so I don't have to worry about making sure I have the money. That's a really good idea, Ben, actually. That is pretty, uh, that's pretty smart. I listen to podcasts at 2x speed with all the pauses removed. I listen to audiobooks as created. Interesting. Why the difference? Terminal on the catwalk. Worth investigating, if heights do not bother you. That hardly qualifies as a height. the podcasts I listen to are non-fiction and informational. That's fair. I just find that when they're speaking that quickly, I need to pay extra attention. And I'd prefer to just passively gather the information I'm looking for. So you'll have your Xbox like a week before getting gold? Excellent. Oh, am I overburdened again? Of course I'm overburdened. What am I saying? Yeah, I think instead of star stuff, I need personal atmosphere. your imagination, sir.
Whoa. Wow, that guy was tough. Took a bit of getting used to, started with the whole removing pauses and speeding up to 1.1, then kept increasing it. All right, actually, I need to, uh, I need to wrap up about here, guys. I have some stuff I've got to take care of before dinner today. So I think we're going to save here and we will recover the artifact next time. I uh, wonder how Bear Blair would enjoy... Oh, jeez. <laughs> She'd probably enjoy it as much as the rest of us do. That's funny, though. I can appreciate that. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out here today. It was a lot of fun getting back into Starfield. We will do more of this. Let's see. What have we got going on today? Uh, Jessica Ravenblood is playing some Dead by Daylight today. Tap Girl is playing something called Pomo Farm. A very old friend of the channel, Sarah Exo Luna, we used to go by a different name. I don't remember what her name used to be, but uh, she's playing World of Warcraft. Known her for a very long time. Katie Rose 9, the uh, leader of one of my stream teams, Project Kindness, is playing The Sims 4. Ellie's on, El Bell playing Baldur's Gate 3. Mop Gardens playing Alan Wake 2. Then we have a bit of a gap here. Oh, little Sia's on. She's actually doing non-Just Dance gaming, too. She's playing some Nancy Drew Danger by Design. <laughs> Felicia Day is on. She's playing Suica Game, which is like the fruit game. It's a puzzle thing. It's actually weirdly addictive. Uh, I think that's about it for today, so I don't know if uh, any of those streamers or games sound appealing to you guys. But if you do, just let me know in channel. Otherwise, we're going to go with my own inclination. Stream team support, that would be Katie. And I always love rating Katie. She's a wonderful person, so let's do that. Project Kindness is a charity-focused team, so that's appropriate. Uh, so let's see. Oh, and it is... Hang on. There we go. Okay. Now, I thought it, it popped up a thing. I thought it was my stream uh, resub anniversary or something. Not even certain if I'm subbed to her channel at the moment. But it was something else. It was this new feature they've got where, for some reason, if you want to, you can pin your cheers, which is weird. But okay. If they want to let you do that, that's cool. So let's go raid Katie. We've known Katie for many years here in the channel. Uh, so let's go check her out and see what's going on with The Sims. Your speaker just switched to Bluetooth again. Weird. All right, guys. Let's do that, and I will get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the shh emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you've got emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer, uh, even from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Katie's channel, see what's going on in her Sims game. It looks like she's got a bit of a party going on. And, uh, oh, it's a New Year's Eve party. That's fun. So we'll see what's happening in her game. And I will be back. When will I be back? Today's, what, Tuesday? Is it Tuesday already? 
it is Tuesday. So I will definitely be back on Friday for my next scheduled stream. And of course, as always, keep your eyes open just in case I decide to do a bonus stream at some point. Probably not going to do one tonight, but you never know. Maybe tomorrow or Thursday could happen. So hopefully I'll see you here if and when I'm back again uh, Friday, if not sooner. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.